Hi guys, Snake Dotter here. Welcome to another unboxing video on my channel. This is a new unboxing, however. Now, this has not been done on my channel before. Um, it's a company that you may have heard of. They've been around for a while. Um, it's from Nerdblock. The company is Nerdblock, their overall company, but they have several different boxes that they do each month. This one is the Arcade Block, as the box says. Um, well, it kind of says, because it just says Arcade Block, oh, because my address label's over the top of it. But it looks like an old Nintendo system, which is awesome. It's got all the labels on the side. It's got all the stuff. It looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, let's jump in, let's see what we get, and um, yeah, let's see what the first, my first ever uh, arcade block unboxing looks like. The first thing we see is a little bit of art, it's a kind of a postcardy thickness piece of artwork. The, uh, the little writing at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, you won't be able to see it probably, it says The Hunter of ZBs, and it's kind of like a, it's got a very small little man in a, in a doorway there at the bottom with a little monster, lightning in the background. I don't know what this is. If you guys know what this represents, do tell me. It's a gaming box, this one. It's all related to gaming. I don't know what this is, though. So, um, tell me. If you know what this picture represents or what it's from, let me know. It looks cool, though. It looks cool. It'd be quite a cool frame. It may be something I'll get a frame for in the future and, um, and put it up on the wall. But, yeah, for now, that is that. That is cool. Let me know if you know. Next up, we have a fantastic-looking T-shirt. It is Red versus Blue. Team Red versus Team Blue. Um, looks like something we would have had on Race to the Moon many, many, many moons ago, but it wasn't a Team Red at the time, was there? But yeah, that looks really cool. It's kind of like a, a Nintendo-themed T-shirt, but I think the idea of it is it's it's um, it's just like a generic squad-based shooter T-shirt. Looks awesome. Looks cool. It's by um, who's it by? Let's have a look. It's by the official Man Company seal of approval. Looks like it's like Nintendo. Um, yeah, team-based shooter. It says there. Looks awesome. I love that. That is really, really cool. We have a bumper sticker. This bumper sticker says coexist. And if you know anything about your gaming, you will know what each of these are. Um, if you can tell me what each of these are sort of li different letters represent, tell me. Tell me in the comments what each of those represents. Some of them are quite obvious, some of them maybe not quite so obvious to you. Depending on how old you are. Me, of my vintage, I know what they are. So yeah, in the comments, tell me what each of these. So there's a C, an O, an E, an X, an I, an S, and a T. Some of them are very obvious, obviously. So tell me what you think these are, and if you, uh, if you get it right, you get plus 10 house points. Next up we have some Portal 2 magnets. They are really cool. It's got different little graphics for each one, all the different things. There's the old turret shooting the player. There's the Portal Cube hitting uh, some, uh, some a man on the head. There's the, uh, the light bridges going across there, which you can see at the bottom, bottom uh, this one here. Bottom left for you, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's the, uh, the light bridge, and then we've got the cake. The cake is not a lie at the end. There's the cake. Cool, that's an exclusive nerd block item as well, so that's really, really cool. I like those, that's awesome. This item is right up my street. This is the Retro Gaming Magazine. It is amazing, it's got everything. This, this, this cover issue has got Batman on the front, because it's got the new Arkham Knight game. But it shows you all different retro games. I love it. I love it so much. Obviously, me being a bit older, I like all the retro stuff. My original channel art was all to do with retro gaming. Um, but yeah, really awesome. So I'm going to have a good read of that. On the back, it's got an advert for all the other um, nerd block based boxes. They have comic block, a comic block, nerd block, and horror block, as well as this arcade block. I am hoping um, the guys at, uh, um, at Nerd Block have said that they will send me a different one each month. So I'm hoping that I sort of rotate around the four. Different, box, uh, different blocks that they do, different boxes that they do, so hopefully we get like a horror block uh, or a nerd block or a comic block next month and we'll see. Um, you have to check out next month's video and see what I get. But yeah, this magazine is really cool and I will enjoy reading it. The next item is a car watch. This is a car watch. It says max speed and it is a car watch. It's got like an old retro arcade driving game back in the day. Back in the day, um, but yeah, let's open it up. Let's have you actually have a look at this one because this 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 looks interesting. How do we open it? Uh, get into the box. There we go. So again, it's an arcade block. It's got a box with arcade box block on it. Let's take it out of the plastic bag. Geek tested, nerd approved, and it says arcade block on the top. So it is an arcade block exclusive item. Um, let's have a look what we've got there. A bit of sort of plasticky, rubbery stuff on the top. Oh, look at this thing. This is pretty awesome. So it is actually, it's actually a normal, it's, is it a what? Is it, does it do anything? Is it just the thing? I don't know. It's, let me try and show you if you can see on this thing, if you can see very well. It's kind of just got like, um, like a dashboard on the watch. The buttons actually do something. It actually is a proper watch. It's got all the buckles and everything. I'm going to have a quick read of this and um, come back. Just give me two seconds, guys. I want to see a bit more about this. 
Well, it seems that my watch is broken, unfortunately. Um, the, the, the buttons don't do anything. Do, do, I may be doing something wrong, I don't know, but you're supposed to press A and it lights up. I'm mashing the buttons and nothing's happening. I've pulled the sticker off the back, which has got a rather cool nerd block um, logo on. If you can see quite see that, you probably can't. There, yeah, there you go. Look, there's a bit of a nerd block, nerd block logo on the back or arcade block. But yeah, when I press the buttons, things are supposed to light up. It doesn't. That's a bit of a shame. I may contact the guys and see if I can get a replacement sent out. Although I do have my fancy Apple Watch, so it's cool though either way. But um, yeah, it's a cool little watch. It's a shame it doesn't seem to work. Unless I'm doing something wrong, the guys at RK Block may watch this and they may tell me. So guys, that is it. That is the end of this unboxing. Thank you very much to NerdBlock for sending this to me. I've enjoyed doing it. And um, yeah, hopefully there'll be some more to come soon. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.